Welcome back to another tech up video. My name is Josh and today we're going to be talking about the SwitchBot API. Now if you're new here it would be great if you could subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Now the SwitchBot API allows you to bring SwitchBot products into HomeKit via HomeBridge such as the SwitchBot curtain, SwitchBot bot and the SwitchBot meter using the SwitchBot hub mini which is required for this to work. So I'm going to be walking you through the install on how to get this working. First of all you want to head over to homebridge.io. Now this is where you're going to be able to install and set up the Homebridge server. I'm currently going to use my iMac as it is always on computer but you can also use a Raspberry Pi or a Windows device and some others listed here. Once you click on this link it will take you to a page where you'll have to install some code um, with iMac into terminal and it is really that simple. and it it's done literally just read the instructions then you'll want to head over to your own unique local host so mine's a little bit different to the one displayed here but you'll click on it and your password will be admin and your username will be admin as well from here it's going to take you to the homebridge homepage this will have your code that you're going to need to scan into your homekit app and you want to head over to plugins now from here you'll search in the little search box switchbot or switchbot api whichever one you want now there's going to be a list of them, you're going to want to pick the one that says Homebridge SwitchBot Open API. Now you'll see SwitchBot account info, here you'll have a box that says token, you'll need to retrieve this from the app. Now to retrieve this token you need to go into the SwitchBot app, open it, go into profile, then from profile you need to click on preferences, and at the bottom it'll say app version, you tap that 10 times and that will bring up developer options. In here you'll find your token which you'll use into Homebridge for Homebridge to discover all of your SwitchBot devices. Now, there are going to be some other settings down below, such as what you want your SwitchBot bots to do. Do you want them to be a press or do you want them to be a flick where they stay like that until you press it again? You'll need to head to the app, go into the bot settings and device info to find the BLE MAC address to type into the corresponding one that you want the bot to do. Now you've done all that, you're going to want to save it. I'm going to press cancel because I've done this before. And then you're going to want to restart Homebridge for it to collect all that information and search for your devices. As you can see mine are already listed here in the accessories tab. Now what you're going to want to do is head over to your iOS device and click the plus icon and add accessory. From here you'll scan the code that Homebridge provides. Homebridge acts as a hub so it will bring in all of your accessories connected to Homebridge by going into home settings, hubs and bridges. At the bottom you'll see Homebridge, click accessories, and here is a list of everything, again like I showed you on the previous screen. From the screen you'll be able to put all your accessories into the correct rooms that you want them to be in and see if they're working. Now going into the old way of controlling my curtains, I would have to head over to the SwitchBot app, click on the curtains themselves and then click something else just to open the curtains. Now they do have Siri shortcut support but it wasn't that great so this is going to be so much better. And again I can control it via all my HomePods or the app which you can see here. Now keep in mind this is early days so there will be some bugs such as what you just saw. Now this is what I've done with my SwitchBot bots, I've connected them to an electronic projector screen with button control. Now you do only need to press a button so that's why I've got it in the press mode and you see it instantly turns off. Now this is super handy and it means I can now control my projector screen in home automations. Now if you was going to use a SwitchBot box for switches then you obviously want to put it into switch mode which will keep it on until you pressed it again. Now, like I said, you can add all of these accessories into automations and scenes. As you can see here, I've got a scene that's called TV on, which automatically turns on my projector. Now I can add my SwitchBot bot to click the screen down button and both will turn on and work at the same time. This is truly amazing and it just makes my life so much easier. Instead of having 10 different remotes around me, I can just have one automation to do it all.
Now, this is where this API really shines. Using the Hub Mini, you are able to add IR devices into HomeKit via the plugin. So what you wanna do is head into the app, click add accessory, then you wanna do IR devices. From here, you can search for a brand, um, say for like a make of a TV that you have, I am doing my Skybox. Now, just for a disclaimer, the Home app doesn't let you use volume controls with this API. It only lets you use the on and off, but for today, I'll be showing you how you register the volume up and volume down, because it is very, very similar. Click on the volume up icon, press start. This tells the Hub Mini that you're about to teach it the volume up by our command. You press the button, it registers it, and as you see on the app, you can then test it. And then once you've tested it and it works, you save it and then you repeat the same again. Now you head back over to Homebridge, restart it so it searches for a new accessory, go into the Home app, add accessory, click I don't have a code and it will show up there. From there, you'll add your Homebridge code, that the one before, this time you have to type it in and that is it. You'll be able to add this into your living room or wherever room you want. Hopefully in the future you'll be able to do volume control, but obviously like I said for now it is just on or off. I have also done this with my projector as you saw earlier in my scenes. I'll be able to control my projector via on and off instead of my original plan that was to go with a smart plug. Now I can add everything into automations, so I really have full control over my home even with products I wouldn't normally be able to add into home itself that's it for this week's video if you did like it, it would be great if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we do post videos weekly and i'll also link all of our socials below i will also link all of the products in this video including the websites that you need to set up homebridge and all the switch what products that work with the api again thanks for watching and we'll see you soon